I have a really diverse set of patients, ranging from a three-year-old that I saw today with a forearm fracture to a 95-year-old today that had just had a hip replacement. Pretty much any age in between, like I said, sports injuries, fractures, auto injuries. I do a fair amount of work comp injuries. I still consider myself a general orthopedic surgeon with an emphasis of total joint replacements, hips and knees. Uh, and so I do quite a bit of surgery on shoulders, um, elbows, wrists, hips and knees, do the joint replacements, do a lot of fracture care work. I think it's really important to be accessible. Uh, I have a fairly heavy patient load, but the receptionists up front know if anybody calls in and they have an injury or their child is injured and they need to be seen that same day, I am uh, very accessible to having same day appointments available for them. Uh, unfortunately, it does sometimes set me behind, but most of my patients are very understanding and they also understand that someday if they're injured and need to see me on the same day, then I'm going to be there for them. I believe you have to be conservative because most patients don't come to an orthopedic surgeon necessarily wanting surgery. So you have to lay out all of the options for them. Frequently the options do include physical therapy, injections, medications, home exercises, things that they can do for themselves. We also get involved in talking to them about weight loss and smoke cessation and uh, other things that are really going to help them out in the long run, not only for their current situation, but uh, for things that they're going to have to face in the future. Having the surgery center next door has been a tremendous benefit. The first and foremost, we have total control over the staff that we hire, the instrumentation that comes in. We make, make it a point to sit down with every single patient and ask the questions, find out what their concerns are, find out what the timing of their injury was, what type of work that they do, what their expectations are for returning to their work or their lifestyle or their hobbies whether it's golf or, or um, photography or anything else. And it, it does take a, a good listening ear to ascertain the patient's concern and piece it all together and really try to come up with the most conservative and also the most effective protocol for getting them better.